Let's go. Get it up, baby. This came right out of me. We gotta wake up and we gotta stay up. Let's go. Yeah. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Uh. Waking up, waking up, I'm awake. Living my life, I might only get one of them. Stay in a moment that gratitude meditate. Cannot have asked for a better day. Seeing my fears never run away. Asking for strength, not a different way. I am the one. Shine like the sun, I'm a pure right. Physically, mentally, I'm on a whole nother level. My body, a vessel, a temple. I be face to face with the devil. I float like a feather. Tend to my blessings, we in this together. Vibrations can drop, just don't get attached. We want to attract. We celebrate every day, bringing us back. Enjoy, relax, have faith. The universe got our back. Thank you, God. Yeah. That is how... It is done. That is how it is done. Welcome to Celebrations with your host, Stephen Selly, helping you vibrate in a celebratory way. We changed the name of the podcast for the 19th time, and you know that, and you know why, but we're back. We'll get into that. I'll make a whole other episode of what that means, but you got it from that rap. That was written this morning. I found the beef this morning. The whole thing flew out of me in a matter of 30 minutes, and nothing feels better than that. Today, I want to talk about what the frig is success, okay? And I also want to talk about some dunk news, which is pretty awesome, uh, the book I just read, and different things that come to mind. So, And also, I'm going to read some of the Instagram post that I got. So welcome to today. Like the rap said, I'm going to read you the lyrics of the rap real quick. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate waking up. I'm awake, living my life. I may only get one of them. Stay in the moment with gratitude. Meditate. Could not have asked for a better day. Seeing my fears never run away. Asking for strength, not a different way. I'm I am the one shine like the sun. I'm a be a ray, like a ray of light. Physically, mentally, on another level, body, a vessel, a temple, been face to face with the devil. I float like a feather, extending my blessings. We in this together. Oh, vibrations can drop. Just don't get attached. We want to attract. We celebrate every day, bringing us back, bringing us back to the vibrations. Enjoy, relax. The universe got our back. Okay, so that's what this whole podcast is about. Maybe I don't have to describe it, but that's how we're living every single day. Find a way to celebrate. At at the very least, you are alive. So let's get right into it. What is success? I wrote down this quote. Uh, probably somebody has said it before, but I was talking with a bunch of people yesterday about what a success is and just thinking about it so much. I came up with this quote and is one who is successful is one who's able to match what he does with who he is. And of course, he, she. You get what I'm talking about? You could be anybody. Yo. So what I mean by that is you want to start creating a life that you're doing what you do for a living for money again money is just an energy we need if you have i've i've noticed a lot of my life of relationship with money and you have to see it as an energy a loving energy and build a relationship with it don't see it any different than extending love and receiving love so that aside is if you can make money make your living by what you do with your time helping others as well i forgot to add that part helping others with who you are, that is true success. And why? Because now everything you do in any moment of your life is better for you and others. So for example, if what I do, if I make this podcast and it helps you live better, that's what I do. That's who I am. I'm a very expressive person. I like making podcasts. I like making raps. I like uh, creating art. So I do those things and it helps others. And that's what I do. Then all I then I get both in one. And so now everything I do when I help others, I get better at helping myself. And when I help myself, I get better at helping others. Now, here's the tricky part. So if you're on board with that, the tricky part is this. A lot of times we want to wait to our to a point in our life when we have the opportunity to do what we love or to do those things of who we are. When I have enough money, I'll start practicing dancing or take dance classes. When I have enough money, I'll go travel. When I have enough money, then I'll start this business. But that is not allowing you to get good at creating that life now. So instead of waiting, if you start being better at who you are and what you do, you're creating that now. So say in f- you say five years when I do this, I'll, I'm gonna grind for five years and do this. Imagine if you spent every day, quote unquote, grinding to become the best you can be at what you do and who you are. So in five years from now, you're creating that life. You're shaping it now. You're crafting it. You're getting better. You're learning and you're growing in that energy. It's almost like saying in five years when I have more time, I'm going to find I'm going to have more time to practice basketball and dribble and shoot and work on my handles, all of that. Or I could be like, you know what, I'm going to see if I can squeeze in a little bit of time to do that now. And if I do that every day for five years, now think of my skills in five years from now. It's, it's, It's obvious when I put it that way, but 
life comes in the way. We think, okay, time and money and fears are really hard to overcome, which is why in the rap, seeing my fears never run away, asking for strength, not a different way. Music is the best, isn't it? You, I write these things and it makes these quotes that make me sound profound because I am. You got to be, you got to believe in yourself. But, uh, so you don't see the fears and turn away. You ask for strength to overcome them. And then my favorite thing is courage. It's not about removing the fear. I, I say that a lot though, like be fearless, remove the fear, but it's more about noticing the fear and acting in spite of it, acting despite the fear, being courageous. So that is success. So now let me read a little bit of what you guys said on Instagram. Thank you for the responses, by the way. I got a few. Um, but I really wanted to share that to say that start crafting it now. Stop having the fears. And I don't know if it's going to let me because I'm connected. Let's see. Okay. So living with self-given purpose, my understanding at this point in my life, someone said, that a correct. Sorry if you don't want to be shouted at, but that's what you get. Um, living with, uh, with self-given purpose. I love that. That's basically what I was saying, whereas you're being who you are to the core. And that's something you have to have faith in as well and trust that the more you're yourself, the more you will attract circumstances where you can be yourself and it'll help the most because everybody's got unique experiences and we need each other, number one. But number two is what Whatever experiences you have, whatever interests you have, whatever motivations you have, whatever you love doing is going to make you very unique for a certain thing, certain task. And Dharma, the, part, the law of Dharma and the seven spiritual laws, which is one of my favorite books, is uh, when you match your, your uh, when a unique need matches your unique talent. So it's the same thing, but. The main point of this podcast today is starting now. Yes, you want that to happen. You want your purpose to match what you do and you want your talents to match the specific need, but I want you to start now. Stop waiting to start doing that. Small wins every day. That's success. I like that a lot, actually. Um, let's see. I got another good one. Affecting community with what you are passionately doing. Exactly right. Perfectly said. And I'm going to do one more thing. Let's see, because I have no service because I'm connected to my camera. So it's okay. Now it's letting me load. Okay. So living with satisfaction, that one I really like because when you're living with satisfaction, it's a really good sign that you fulfilled yourself. So for example, there's some dunk days where I jump really well and after it, I'm more peaceful than ever. And it's like rare. And I've had those recently because I had really good jump days, but it goes to show me like, uh, I can find peace when I accomplish something. So Another quick tidbit that I learned with life coaching is the square of, what is it called? The square of, I don't know, it's just helping you relieve anxiety and get to peace. So when you have anxiety, there, it's the elements, the elements of anxiety. So there's fire, water, earth, and air, right? So when you're in anxiety, you're in water. So when you, the first thing you could do is notice what you're doing. Notice why you're in, why you have anxiety, what you're thinking about. And hint, it's always the past or the future. So notice your anxiety, you're in water. Now, once you notice what it is, you have to move into fire and you have to go in this order and you move into fire, you're taking action. So whatever it is, you can take action. And when you take action, you will accomplish something, whether you make it right or you do it wrong, you took action. And then after you take action, now you move, uh, I think it's like you dissociate. So those are like things you tangibly do. Then you disassociate and you say you have the feeling of accomplishment where you did something, you did what you can. And by the way, I have a whole podcast on this elements of uh, anxiety that if you want to search it up for more details and better <laughs> articulation of it. But you move into earth. After you move from fire, you move into earth, which is more of a sense of accomplishment. And after you have that a sense of accomplishment, you move into wind and then you're at peace. And that's like the meditative state. And that's also when you sleep. So I like to put that in terms of how we sleep. Cause a lot of times if you're anxious, it's really hard to move all the way to peace, which is what you need to fall asleep. So for me, if I'm, even if I'm not anxious, I take some action, whether it's write down my tasks for the next day, uh, think about what I'm going to do, do the dishes, do the laundry, whatever I got to do at night. Then I feel accomplished. I think about my day. I reflect on the day, feel accomplished, and then I move into peace. And that's just a long side tangent. So let me look at any more. Success sounds like sucks ass. <laughs> Uh, to me, sucks ass when you don't go further after what you success. I'm not sure what you meant, but uh, I like when you said you don't go further. It sucks when you don't go after your success. So I don't want you to wait. And that's another part of the celebration, celebration rap is that we don't know how many days we have left. We may only have today. So if you're waiting for those days to start living your purpose and try, trying to craft that freedom life, you may die before you even get there. So that's uh, not fun. Uh, is there any more? 
I think that's I think that's it for the people that responded or at least the oh my boy Sal Saul living your passion being satisfied bringing up others with you positive impact beautifully said and it's so nice because that sounds so nice but then when you go to actually do it notice your own fears of like I can't do that yet why can't you do it yet and I want you to switch that mindset if there's one thing you learned today Switch that mindset to why can't I do it yet? So why not now? Why not now? And try to notice those fears and try to take the smallest possible step you can. Okay, next. I read the book, A Return to Love by Marianne Williamson, and it was a great. By the way, I want to start with dunk news, actually. Jordan Kilgannon hit a million followers on Instagram. That is a huge freaking milestone. I just want to say huge congrats and just learn from that. All he did was freaking dunk. He had a dream before dunking was a thing and now he's a million followers and he's not a guy that cares about numbers. He's never tried to get more numbers. He just did what he did best and got, and it's exactly what I'm talking about. Don't worry about the numbers. They come. He's a perfect example of doing what you love and becoming the best at what you can do will, will bring everything that you want as byproducts. And then you don't even really care about them. He just wants to dunk. You know, he wants to be the best dunker he can be. And so it's just amazing because a million people follow him. And what I like about his profile, it's all dunks. It's just him dunking. So A million people hit follow for his exact purpose. And I thought that was really cool. And uh, I'm I'm honored to call him a friend. And I'm excited to see what he does with his life. And just the the movement, when we look back at the movement he's created and helped inspire is just amazing. Um, For myself, I hit the barefoot dribble dunk. I'm going to make a YouTube video about that. Barefoot dribble dunk. I used to not even be able to really dribble dunk on 10 feet. It used to be really difficult. Now I did a slow approach dribble dunk with barefoot shoes. I literally made myself shorter and got a dunk with it. So my foundation is just stronger than ever. And I couldn't be more excited for the future of my progress. So that's it. Stay tuned for that for tomorrow is freaking dunk tip Tuesday. And that did not play. Oh, because it's on mute and it's tomorrow is Tuesday. sorry if I just destroyed your ears. Okay. (laughs) Sorry about that. Okay. So now that's the dunk news. Let's talk about a return to love because this is a really good part in the book. So Marianne Williamson, uh, it's a reflection on the course of miracles, which is one of the biggest, best books about spirituality. I highly recommend, but it's a really long book, but she does a a book called A Return to Love, which is a reflection on that book, kind of like a summary. And one of the biggest uh, themes of the course in miracles and her book is simply shifting from a place of fear to love. That is it. So whenever you have doubts, that's a fear. Whenever you have anxiety, that's a fear. If you could shift to from fear to love in a situation, I don't know how I'm going to make this happen to be like, wow, I'm excited to see how this plays out. Anything like that, that will create miracles. So you can create miracles instantaneously. So she gives this story in the book where she was supposed to meet a friend for dinner. She was not feeling well and her throat was really hurting and she could barely talk, something like that. And she needed a, vi- a, z- a thithromycin. What's that antibiotic called? Something like that. But she was in a new city and she didn't know any doctors. So she prayed and she, and also a big theme of the book is anytime you have an ailment, anytime you have sickness, it's because you had a, a fearful thought in the past and it's manifesting itself physically, something like that. Or say you get in a little car wreck, fender bender, it's because you had an unloving thought. So her knowing this being super aware, she's like, okay, I have this date tonight. She's only got a few hours. She's like, I wish I could get this azithromycin, whatever it's called. But she's like, you know what? I'm going to think she thought about her life. She remembered a, a unloving moment she had, a fearful moment she had. So she atoned for it. She forgave herself for it. She asked for forgiveness for having that fearful thought. Um, because again, that's basically having a sin. You're not having the faith. You're not spreading love. You're just letting fear run your life. So she accepted that and she prayed on it and she said, please allow this to unmanifest, whatever you want to call it. And she prayed in her car and she closed her eyes. And then when she opened her eyes, her throat was still the same. It did not do anything. So she was a little frustrated, but she was like, okay, well, that's all the best I can do. She gets to the bar early to meet her friend and she starts trying to make a drink that is like a hot toddy, I think she called it some kind of remedy for your throat. I don't know what the hell that is, but sounds like she is basically to help her heal her throat, asking the bartender. And some guy was like making flirtatious eyes at her and she was having no part of it. She's like, oh God, I don't want to deal with this now. Uh, But the guy's like, what are you trying to make? And he was, she was saying a hot toddy and he was like, you know what? That's not how you do it. But what you really need is is azithromycin. She's like, I know, I just don't know anybody here. He's like, oh, okay, here, come with me next door. He happens to be a doctor and he takes her next door, gets her prescription and she's able to take the medicine right there. And so 
the moral of the story is that she said the prayer. She asked for uh, this to be healed, but the universe provided an answer in a way that she could understand. Because if it would have been healed miraculously right there in an instant, it may have been, she couldn't believe that. She probably wasn't at a place as an enlightened being to be like, my, I could just heal my body instantly. But she can understand, okay, maybe there's a chance encounter with a doctor that has the exact medicine I need. And I just thought that was such an amazing story. So going forward, when you ask for things, stay open and stay aware because you never know how they're going to come into your life and be patient and just understand that they are going to come and they just might be at your level of understanding. And that's such a fun way to see miracles. Because if you think about that, the chances of him seeing that, doing that, her making the drink, her, him being a doctor, the store being right next door, all of that, that's a miracle. So we're going to extend miracles and I'm going to run you out with the freaking celebrations intro. This has been Stephen Selly's celebrations where we celebrate our life and we raise our vibration. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. Get it up, baby. Enjoy your day. Happy freaking Monday. We got to wake up and we got to stay up. Let's go. Celebrate, celebrate, Waking up, waking up, I'm away. Banger. I might only get one of them. Stay in a moment that gratitude meditate. Yeah. For a better day. Seeing my fears never run away. Asking for strength, not a different way. I am the one. Shine like the sun, I'm a pure. Physically, mentally, I'm on a whole nother level. My body, a vessel, a temple. I'm being face to face with the devil. I float like a feather. Extend up my blessings. We hear this together. Vibrations can drop. Just don't get attached. We don't. With tracks. We celebrate every day, bringing us back. Enjoy, relax, have faith. The universe got our back. Thank you, God. Let's go. That's Woo! a banger, dog. <laughs> Sheesh. Man, I woke up today. I was like, hold on, hold on. I woke up bopping. I'm over here bopping in bed. And I'm like, yo, this thing go. Yo, dog, man, you got to let me hear that full one. I want to be dropping.